All right, guys, Arizona has been absolutely crazy. This is my first time here. I had to run to the ATM twice yesterday just to go get more money. I'm headed inside right now. I only have two hours until my flight leaves. So I'm gonna go and dig through some dollar boxes and see if I can find any last minute deals here on Sunday. So I'm not the biggest baseball guy in the world, but this first box I stumbled across had a lot of good stuff. So I thought, you know what, let's go for it. I mean like Juan Soto Inception Red numbered for $10 sticker. I don't know the most baseball names, but I was flipping through here and I know Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Optic Red Ice here numbered to seven for once again only ten dollar sticker and i knew that if i was buying in bulk i might even be able to get these down to like seven maybe six if i'm lucky and that was absolute no-brainer saw some cool patches and some number like i think that's like a cosmic or some other cool stuff in there once again i wish i knew all the names i definitely would have done a lot better but i knew there was value to be had in this box right here i've said it before and i'll say it again one of the best ways to make money in the sports card industry at least give yourself a chance to make money is to find nice raw cards and grade them. That's gonna give you the best chance. You're gonna get the best margins there. And one of the keys to finding those cards that actually have a chance to get a 10 is buying from people who don't necessarily grade all the time, right? Like if you buy from someone who does a lot of PSA grading themselves, the cards that are sitting raw for the most part, especially if they're nicer ones, are gonna be their grading rejects. But this guy right here, you can tell by a showcase, it's just raw cards sitting there. And he has a ton of raw cards to the right that are more expensive, like this Julio Aqua right there. I was like, okay, there might be some good candidates in here. And when I stumbled across this purple tops finest with the RC Julio, I was like, all right, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Expensive enough where, you know, hypothetically, if you get a 10, that could be worth as much as 200 bucks, good margins, big name so it's easy to move rookie card it just it just checked all the boxes so i was like okay now we're really cooking here there's some i'm going to try to find not only some cheaper cards i can hopefully flip but definitely some raw cards i can grade and then that'll really make this little uh this little bargain hunting here worth it for me one thing you have to be careful of though when looking at cards for grading is checking what they actually go for in a psa 10 before rookie color of big names was an automatic no-brainer to grade like this gunner henderson tops chrome pink rc i was like oh that's that's easy like before this is exactly what i'd be looking for but when you look it up now and even if you get a PSA 10, it sells for about $36. So, you know, even with PSA special going on right now at $16, let's call it maybe $19 all in. You get the card for 10 bucks, boom, you're already at $29 after fees and everything. You're gonna be breaking even if you get lucky and get a 10. So before you see, I put that down, but I always check now because I'm like, a lot of these cards that you think would be worth a lot in a 10 just aren't anymore. Now, this Micah Parsons that I found right here was more what I was looking for. I checked the comps on this one. Once again, pink, rookie, but you gotta check. It, it seems similar to that Gunnar Henderson, but a PSA 10 here actually does $75, and I thought I could get it pretty cheap, so I was like, all right, this is one that's actually worth grading because the upside is actually there in a PSA 10. The baseball world is definitely interesting to me. Like, you can see right here, this uh, orange sapphire ice out of 25 caught my eye because it's a rookie, and I was like, okay, he's not a pitcher. This at least has has to be worth something like this is probably some pretty good upside but i looked it up the guy's name is jonathan india and a purple sapphire out of 10 psi 9 only sold for 26 dollars. so i was like okay i you know i don't i'm not sure there's a price i can get this one at that makes any sense with grading it which is weird because even in the soccer world orange sapphires of rookies even not the biggest names sell pretty strong so that's something i'm definitely learning that there's a there's a pretty big spread it seems in price in between these top baseball prospects and the ones with with not as much hype. And that spread seems even crazier with pitchers. I was coming here and I find this Topps Chrome Black Yankees color match rookie out of 10. I'm like, oh man, 20, like 20 bucks sticker? Like this has to be worth more. But once again, I looked it up and it's just not, you know, I, I thought I was like Yankees, big name, everything going for it. It's baseball's weird, man. <laughs> I definitely, once again, I'll, I'll admit to you guys when I don't know something too well and baseball is definitely one of those things. Eventually I moved over to the football side of the box which I know a little bit better but still not an expert on and I found some pretty good stuff like pretty shortly here I found a Garrett Wilson hot routes red rookie numbered for five bucks sticker once again perfect for a whatnot stream like that's a I'm pretty sure he was offensive rookie of the year I'll put it down there if I'm right I'm pretty sure I am but no one really talks about him once again a numbered rookie for probably is gonna cost me about three bucks thought that was a no-brainer right there I didn't end up finding a ton of football 
football cards that I was gonna take with me, so I decided to call it there, and then here, I have no shame. I was comping this stuff out, seeing what made sense for me to take home, what maybe would have some upside with grading, and I found at the end, I was like, oh man, I'm, I'm actually not taking too many cards from this guy, and, and this is something I try to do. You never wanna force it. Don't buy cards that you don't need or you don't want, but if you buy in bulk, you get more of them, it's almost always gonna benefit you price-wise. So I was like, okay, what can I add more here so we can get these prices a little under sticker and, and they'll hopefully make a little more sense for me. And I took a peek over on the showcase over here and the Scotty Barnes orange laser auto really caught my eye and thought, and I thought, hey, why not, you know, let's, let's, I don't, he didn't have a sticker. Let's see what he's asking on it. Maybe we can make something work here where this, the total price I'm paying will get a little higher and he'll be more willing to work with me on these cheaper cards. You know what you're asking on the Scotty Barnes? Oh, uh, that one you have at 60. Do you mind if I look at it? Yep. Scotty Barnes again? Yep. Everyone's asking about that. Yeah, he is. There's just about 300 people who asked about that card. Hmm. All right, so for these ones, obviously, like these were just kind of cheap, whatever you can do there. For these, um, PSA 9 did 61. That's the most recent I could find. I told you it was 61. <laughs> right on. My guy knows his stuff. And then this one, a 10 did uh, 120 most yeah. recently. So, I would just, a little bit more room there would be nice, but just let me know what you can do. 110 for them all. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Thank you much. Yeah. Appreciate it. So in the sports world, one of the hardest things to count on is player performance. I hear plenty of people who act like, like they know, they're like, oh, this guy, 100%, he's gonna be the next big thing. Oh, oh my God, you're buying this guy's cards. He's such a bust, what are you thinking? None of us really know anything. I mean, these GMs who get paid millions of dollars a year, they get it wrong like 75% of the chain, like 75% of the time. So what do any of us know? When that comes to the sports card world, sure, yeah, it's fun and I do it to go after prospects and hope they make it big. But if you're trying to do this as a business, betting on that and that really being your strategy is tough. But one of the things you can definitely count on is hype. Hype is much more predictable. And I think with the NFL draft and some of these quarterbacks coming out this summer, your Caleb Williams, Drake May, JJ McCarthy, there's gonna be hype there. I don't know how they're gonna perform, but I really do think when they get drafted, there's gonna be a lot of hype and people looking for their cards. And this guy right here, I saw he had a ton of Bowman Chrome, nice cards of all those quarterbacks I just named. Um, I think he said he was a breaker, so he ripped through a ton of these and he just had so many, Caleb Williams, Williams, Drake May just stacked. A lot of them not even in top loaders, I think, because he had so much. I think at one point, too, I even asked him and he went and got more from his case. And I was like, this stuff, especially because I can grade it, would be perfect to pick up. Eventually, I settled on a few cards that, once again, I thought had some higher upside being graded. There was a Drake May auto, uh, Michael Penix auto, a couple nice Caleb Williams cards, uh, some Marvin Harrison. I set those all to the side and I was like, okay, let's get these all together. I think I can get a pretty nice bulk deal on them. But I handed them off to him and he said that, well, I'll, I'll let you listen. If you let me know what you could do if I took all of these, that'd be great. Can you give me uh, 15 minutes where you can walk around? Yeah, yeah, no rush. Um, let me know what you see on the Penix as well, okay. um, if there's anything. I'll come back in like 15 minutes. Thank you. So no problem at all, I let him think that over. And while he was doing that, I was like, let me get back to basics, my favorite thing to do. Let's do some proper dollar box hunting. And in this first box right here, it started off really well. Here's a throwback legend, David Ortiz Bowman Chrome Refractor. This guy was, this is when I was really watching baseball. He was just hitting home runs for fun. Really cool, I was a big fan of this guy growing up. And while it's not the biggest card in the world, I think I ended up getting it for less than a dollar, probably like 75 cents. Can probably get like seven or eight for it hey not the flashiest but we will take that every day of the week now i bet <laughs> you guys didn't think i would be finding this in a dollar box what about an otani tops rookie i don't think it has the rc on this but it's from his rookie year 2018 and to find this in a dollar box crazy automatic pickup not the most expensive card in the world once again but at about ten dollars less than one dollar into ten i'm telling you guys if, if you put the time in you're gonna find cool stuff more importantly like this but also stuff that's worth you know ten times your money not too bad and this box was just full of steals. Look at this 
Juan Soto Optic Diamond Kings, numbered less than a dollar. No brainer all day. It's unlicensed, but the more I can add to my pile, once again, the cheaper I'm gonna be able to get stuff for. And look there, a little Randy Johnson Donruss rookie. I thought maybe that'd be worth something, but I checked it and shocking. That guy's a legend. I know it was the junk wax era, but that's not even worth a dollar. Crazy. But anyways, back to the point. Juan Soto, I know it's unlicensed, but big name, numbered, insert, cool looking card, checks all the boxes. Here was another fun pickup. Sorry, it's off camera. You're just getting a shot of uh, the fresh kicks in the pants here, but Stephen Curry Flux Silver Pulsar in the 25 cent bin. I thought that this was like gonna be the find of the video right here. I thought I had really struck gold. Unfortunately, uh, comps on it are probably only about like five bucks, but once again, 20, 25 cents, can't go wrong. Maybe run it in a whatnot auction. People are always looking for curry and stuff like that. So not quite as good as I thought, but still, once again, just adding to the pile, just killing time really while I'm waiting for those, uh, for that guy to comp out those football autos. So I'll take it. Here's another cool one that kind of happened off screen. Sorry about that again, but Tatum Hoops Premium Green Color Match. That's just a clean looking card. I'm a sucker for a cool color match. I think this one probably sells once again for like five bucks, but heck, I'll, I'll take this. This is just good eye appeal cards, fun stuff. I will say big names, good eye appeal. You'll find a use for these somewhere. Some of the not as big names, tougher to move if they're cheaper cards, but Curry, Tatum, even if they're cheap like this, always gonna be in demand for someone. I didn't end up picking up every card I, I pulled out of this box, but definitely like the Curry and the Tatum and Ortiz and Otani, some of the nicer ones I got. I think in the end I had like 15 cards, maybe 14, and wow, they were so flexible. I ended up getting a killer deal on these ones. Uh, does I, do you have Venmo or PayPal? After getting that deal done, I headed right back over to the football table to see if we could get something done. I had a feeling that would probably be one of my most important deals of the day, so I was eager to hear what he was thinking. Did you happen to have a chance to look at those cards yet? Which ones? Okay. Uh, I think I had like, it was Caleb Williams and the, yeah, that little lot right there. Uh, I had 325 raw, I was gonna go 270. For all of them? All of it together. I'd love to be at 230. There's no way you can make that work. 250, me in the middle. And then grab a couple other cards. Um, if I can grab some other small ones. That's sure. Right. Can I see the Penix? I like the X-Fractor. Would that be cool? Sure. Yeah, five bucks is cool. And you guys know I couldn't forget about my soccer cards. Messy every day of the week I'm picking up. Found these uh, Stadium Club refractors right here. I think this is the first year of Stadium Club. He's actually in his Barcelona kit too. So I tend to go for that stuff. It seems like there's a stronger collector base than with PSG. Ronaldo, I'm always looking at too. Uh, Vinicius, there was actually some cool stuff here. That pink, um, surprisingly, was very low numbered. I, I thought that was just a regular parallel, but I believe it's numbered to 49 or something like that. I'll, I'll pop it up what it is, but I did not expect such a nice Vinicius numbered card just to be sitting there there's a couple other ones Pedri but I'll, I'll be honest I'm for soccer I'm I'm sticking to more of the bigger names right now that seems to be what's what's moving there's just so much printing in the soccer card world but that's a discussion for another video you know he had some other stuff in the showcase and I was trying to see if we could work something out eventually here um, a Cole Palmer rookie auto caught my eye I think with soccer prospects something that might be interesting to think about is going and buying the rookies once the initial hype from their release is kind of faded like it's funny because Cole Palmer actually has a lot of hype in real life right now because he transferred from Manchester City to Chelsea and he's been scoring goals and, and playing pretty well but in terms of the card world I don't hear much about him anywhere so getting a, this rookie here is actually out of 10 I was like okay raw great it could be an interesting play um, do you know what you'd be asking on these ones right here And just FYI, you know that's the Barca jersey, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Because almost everybody thinks that there's Miami. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, because yeah. it's pink? Yeah. I'm a big Barcelona fan, so. Oh, okay, nice, nice. But there's a, the Don, there's the Don Russ from the previous year. I had a 25 for 37, so I think that's a fair uh, comp. Yeah, yeah. So, let me see. For mass sake right now, 40. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was asking 
uh, 150 for him, mm -hmm. and I was at 20 each on these originally, but mm -hmm. I'll do do 200 follow. Uh, let me just look up the uh, cold Bummer? foam area real yeah. quick. See if I, can I don't think there are any of that one sold. Cold yeah. Bummer, uh, with the auto. You said 200 for all of them? Yeah. Uh, that's fine. Sure, I'll take a chance on the cold okay. one. 